Welcome to Privash Fiske Flir. Uh, today's video will be some information about some new Stonefo tools and some new Stonefo gear. Uh, I have uh, tried to uh, combine the presentation of the Stonefo gear and tools together with tying a fly with their materials. The fly I'm going to tie today is a damsel nymph. Uh, I used some uh, materials from Stonefo and some uh, tools from Stonefo that I want to show you. Uh, well, this is a um, fast tie, pretty fast tie I will say. So uh, just uh, stay on with me and uh, welcome to the fly tying part of the video. You have UV glue, the flex type. And you have a permanent marker, olive color, and you have some plastic eyes. I used the olive one, and you have some silicon tubing. I used the one millimeter one, and you have some ostrich hull, olive. So, sorry, olive. <laughs> and you have some dubbing. I use the olive one. And you have this little long sized treader from Stonefall. And I have olive tread in my Elite Bobbin. And I have some lead wire. I didn't use this. And I have some uh, kind of plastic sheet on the top. And I have some medium bug legs from Fly Tires Dungeon for legs. And I have some saltwater shrimp size 8 hook nice hook with a big gap that's what all i used hello and welcome to the fly time part of the video tonight i'm gonna tie a little damsel nymph for you uh, i start with the f uh, attaching the hook in the vise the vise is a stone for transformer And I use olive tread. And I just wind back to where I want to start. The thing I've done here, I have used some silicon tubing about, uh, I think it was about one millimeter. And I use this little tool here. to drag the pearl through this tubing. I can adjust the, the length of it by dragging on those stubs here. You see? That will be enough. Okay. I just you can straighten it if you want 
Okay, then I just attach it with some secure wraps like that. You see, perfectly still there, and I snip it off. and continue over here and I'll take my nymph skin like this and I cut off a little piece use my scissors and cut off think about this will be enough like that now you have the paper just have to remove it I'll use a little botkin for that of course this botkin, botkin here stonefall it's very good Should have cleaned it. Here, so to take off the paper. Okay. Now I'm just place it on top, like this, like this, and just wind it on. Yes, I'm gonna snip some of it off. I shall use it for the back. Okay, now I'm gonna just take some dubbing like this, use the olive type, and just Put it on just wind it on and I can use this tool for picking the, this dubbing out. You see? Just use the hook. Don't take out too much at once. It will be easier to take off less and put on. It's easier to put on than to take off. So I just be carefully putting something on like this. Okay, now stuff. Is, now I have to uh, put on. Put on the rest of the tape I've cut off and I place it like that with the shiny side on, on, on top. Just sorry, just have to manipulate it a little more this one this will do the job and I use the top part and just put it back like that and just wind it like this and I take my little eyes this is the eyes plastic eyes this type, the smallest one, is olive. I just wind my thread to the hook eye and put this little eyes on with the cross wrapping. ok 
Okay. Now I'm gonna use my rubber legs. I cut off a little piece and I use a little single knot to put it on and just tighten this little and I put on some dubbing to wind this little but I have to cut it unless it will interfere with my tying thread is all ever too long so well now I'm getting back and tie off tie on the bone some more dubbing just have to manipulate it like that and I just use another one same procedure put on some more well it's a tight spot here you see the one that is left down there maybe I should go on back and forth a little bit I see that I have I should have three pairs I have only two so I go back and place the last one maybe it's too short I have to cut off some more like this oh okay well it's a bit very long but I can cut it to length when I'm done just try to not interfere with some of the other legs that will that look very good cut it off thankfully I have a lot of rubber legs so I don't have to be cheap on them so then I take on some more dubbing try not to dub my rubber legs go back and try to get in between here it's not so easy try again have to turn the wise a little just to see what I've been doing here okay the legs are pointing all the way all the wrong way to adjust the tension on my bobbin here so it don't unravel on me okay now we have one fairly long leg and some short just cut it off try not to cut my thread and some one very long here Okay, it looks like it's getting there. Okay, now my thread is just behind the eyes. And I now take this part, 
just to have a uh, find my tweezer where is my tweezer maybe I can use a little type of this okay just pull it like this try to change hands so I tie it down like this a little tension here and just try to snip it off try not to cut off any important stuff okay just have to manipulate this a little bit and then I make a secure wrap here and just take this little skin part between the eyes and just attach it carefully like this okay now we're getting there well now I just have to be very careful and just snip it off like this and try to find a little whip finisher there you have it a securely whip finish this little fly and use my skills just to not do anything wrong maybe I can do it there you have it okay the one remains now is some cutting of this little stump back here you have to cut off little of the length like this um, and if I can manage it and if my scissors is sharp enough I can cut a little maybe this scissor is gone well maybe I just try to use another scissor this scissor has been very good with deer hair but maybe not so good with these little things well okay now there comes some coloration you see the tubing is a bit light to say the least then I just color it with my marker like this have to turn the Y some use the rotation of the Y's like this well the the ostrich hurl is is solid but the tubing is a little bit well what shall I say uh, it's not so very translucent but that's okay if you don't can also color the eyes a little bit if they're too light well now I'm gonna use my trusty well I tried to find a smaller bottle here there you have it a smaller bottle well and I just try to at least a little Oh, 
like securing part of this tie just some UV glue you see the legs are not all you just have to try just to set this little thing And I can cut, sorry, cut these little legs shorter like this. Try to measure like that. Okay. Now the thing is to tell you guys, I just want to have some. Well, maybe not, maybe not, maybe it does, doesn't have to be, maybe I shall just see and uh, be satisfied with it. I can always just, if you want, I can pull out some of this dubbing, but maybe not, maybe not maybe not well this is a little simple damsel lymph there's a lot of ways to tie this little fly you see here there is a lot of movement in this and the hook is so heavy that you don't need any lead I cut I left this part don't take any lead so that was all for now folks so um, welcome to my other videos and uh, if you want subscribe my channel and hit, hit the notification bell so you will get a little message when you receive another video from me well thank you all and good night